Hi, my name is Marina Monroy. I work for Community Health Alliance and I'm a family planning community health worker. Hi, my name is Liz. I also work for Community Health Alliance and I am a cancer care coordinator. Today, we would like to talk about cervical cancer since January is Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. So what and where is cervical cancer? Cervical cancer forms in the tissues of the cervix. The cervix is an organ that connects the uterus to the vagina. A simple procedure called a pap test can screen for this type of cancer. This test collects cells from the cervix that can be looked at in the lab to detect any cell abnormalities or HPV. And what is HPV? HPV is a virus that is transmitted um, by skin-to-skin -skin contact, and it causes about 91% of cervical cancers. Um, most of the time, a person's immune system can clear the infection on its own, but for those who are unable to fight off HPV, persistent infections can lead to cell uh, changes and ultimately lead to cervical cancer if left untreated. Cervical cancer is one of the most common causes of cancer-related deaths. Every two minutes, someone dies of cervical cancer, yet it, it is nearly 100% preventable. Everyone who has a cervix, whether they are sexually active or not, should screen for cervical cancer starting at the age of 21. People who have multiple or high-risk sexual partners smoke, have an autoimmune deficiency, trans sexually transmitted infections, or a family history of cervical cancer, are at higher risk of developing this cancer. Some common symptoms of cervical cancer are abnormal vaginal bleeding, abnormal vaginal discharge, pain during sex, pelvic pain, and sometimes cervical cancer may come with no signs or symptoms. There are three preventative measures you can take to protect yourself against cervical cancer. One is get the HPV vaccine. Both men and women are able to get the vaccine to reduce the risk of infection or transmitting the virus. Um, but even with the vaccination, people with the cervix must still perform routine pap screenings. Two, routine pap screenings and STI screenings or sexually transmitted infection screenings. Um, this allows for precancerous cells or lesions to be detected under the microscope before they can become cancerous. And three, early, early treatment is key. When precancerous cells or lesions are detected, they can still be treated um, before they can progress to cancer. Here at CHA, we can schedule your cervical cancer screening with any of our 25 providers at any of our seven locations. If you do not have insurance, you may be eligible for a screening at no or low cost. To schedule an appointment, please visit our website at www.chanevada.org or you can give us a call at 775-329-6300 and we'd like to thank you for listening and learning about Cervical Cancer Awareness Month.